good afternoon. This is about the overview in AutoCAD application. So for the overview of AutoCAD, you can see the A icon. A icon. Then once you click that, you can see save as, import, export, publish, print. You can also see open and then save. Right? So this is the ribbon of the AutoCAD application. We're in these columns consists of draw. Where you can draw line, polylines, and so on. In this row, you can see modify. In this modify tools, you can use the fillet command. Have the erase, explode, copy, move, and so on. While here, in the annotation ribbon, you can see the standard wherein you can you can type multi-line text or a single line. And in the annotate or annotation ribbon, you can see the dimension. Dimension is very important, especially in knowing the the measurement of each objects. So you can also choose from the dimensions the linear if you're measuring the, the straight line. A line is something like inclined line. You have the angular, you have the arc length, radius, diameter, and so on. So you will also realize these layers, how to use that, how to, to, to create a new layers to the succeeding uh, modules that we have. You will know about that. Then we will use block in module 5. And so on. These are the utilities such as calculator and so on. So you can see that this is a cur crosshair. Crosshair is, is something like cursor in the normal applications. Once you right click on the course cross here you can see options inside the options you can see the display tab in the display tab you can change the size of the cross here most of the professionals use this cross hair size much bigger okay they they are used to to have that kind of cross here just like this one or more than that options again I'll move to and 100 cross here but I am fond of having a cross here that is something like average something like 50 and yeah, something like that while you can see the colors colors is used for what Changing the color of this drawing area from black to white, but I think it is much better. Click apply and then close. It is much better. We will go into use B because, of course, it's based on your preference. Okay, so I will stick in having it with black background. Click OK, apply, and then OK. So I have already this one. So you can see model. Model is where you draw, where you draw the objects. Layout is of course where you place the template that we will use. This one, and then this is the layout. Okay. So this is the command line. Command line is very important because you will see the instruction or you can follow the step-by-step -step procedure. If if just in case you you're using a command you're using a command such as a line enter and then you hit that then you hit then you want to proceed to the rectangle that could not be happen okay what you're going to do is to escape to hit escape on your keyboard 
Then after that, you can now proceed to the next tool. You can use the next tool. And then remember, inside the command line, it's the step-by-step -step process where the next step will follow. If you didn't follow the step-by-step -step procedure in using the command tools, you will not go into stop. Okay? So for this one, these are another tools which will be discussed important things. So to use this one, this important things. Okay? And then you have the customization. Okay. So these are the tools here where you can see on this status toolbar. Once the tool is not yet checked, meaning you cannot use that yet. While, for example, you have ortho, you turn it on, you cannot see it here. While you turn it, uh, while you check it, you can see now the, the ortho, then you can open and on. On and off that tools. Okay, I think that's all for this video.